Water security is privilege. I have the ability to rest assured that I can get up at any given time and get a glass of water. It's a scary thing to know that at any given moment, I could not have water to drink. I could not be able to do the things that I take for granted every second of the day. People need water to live. I am a volunteer with an organization called We the People of Detroit, and they deliver water. How long do you think this water is going to last? Uh, a month. A month? Okay. The actual process of delivering water, it's become very normalized to me. Like, I go, I pick up water. I, I drive to my destination. I have a very brief interaction with the people I'm dropping water off. And then when I get home and I'm washing my face or I'm washing my hands or flushing the toilet, it hits me. I'm like, I am doing all these things that those people should be able to do, can't. There are so many issues within this system. The way that we're metering water, the way that these collection systems are operating. You know, the default is to just shut off people's water. The fact that we've got to this point where we're talking about like, how can we come up with a race structure that like provides water for our most vulnerable citizens? I mean, it's insane. 